service I missed most is everyday prayer, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. every day, which I already, which changed my life, and I, I will forever remember that. What I miss most about JCC is the praise and worship. It really helped me to know how to praise God very well. I miss dancing. I miss how we dance around the church, and also my prayer life got better from JCC like the Friday prayers that we always have really improved my prayer life like I think coming to JCC helped me to be closer to God and I'm very grateful for that. The part of JCC service I miss most is Bible study because I learned deep truth from God's word from that 45 minute session every Sunday. The part of the JCC service that I miss the most has got to be the praise and worship. I miss the liberty I love the way that JCC worships and praises God with so much freedom, without restriction. I miss everything about JCC, most importantly the Thanksgiving service. It's always awesome in the presence of God. Everyone is given the opportunity to express his or herself. If I was to say what the favourite part of the service was for me at JCC, I would have to say it's praise and worship. I believe that I was able to lose myself in the presence of God um, and just just feel the presence of God. Like I felt that like the Holy Ghost came down every time, you know, I was able to render praise and worship in JCC. And as we all know, <laughs> all praises at JCC is like a Holy Ghost party and it was just amazing to be part of. Well, my own aspect is the choir ministration. Oh, I love the choir. I love them for their unique voices. I love them for their sonorous voices. They take me, they link me directly to God also. Well, I miss every part of um, JCC service. I miss the power nights. I miss the Thanksgiving service, the monthly declaration of the Thanksgiving service. And I particularly miss the Thanksgiving time itself because the Bible says in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. And um, there is a way I express that joy. Now, one part of um, JCC service that I miss the most is um, praise and worship. I mean, because uh, <laughs> I love to dance a lot, and the choir always do a very wonderful job every time. And big shout out to the choir. The most memorable part I miss in the service, uh, please don't laugh at me, is actually the, the announcements. And um, that's the introduction. You hardly see churches. Uh, who have um, animated videos so the video that shows at the beginning of the announcement when you say you welcome to JCC and um, yeah I really miss that and it's one of the things I'm trying to um, inculcate in my church in Nigeria. I've missed JCC so 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 much especially Thanksgiving service. Thanksgiving service is amazing you have no no unrestricted no holds dancing you see people putting pride and shame aside and they really really want to praise God I really miss that I miss the Jesus you choir you guys are great you bless me through praise and worship and I pray God will bless you too in Jesus name God oh, bless you real good uh, I miss JCC so much I miss the prayer I miss Thanksgiving I miss the IT department I miss the sound department of Mr. Please, I, wish you from the fire. I miss the structure of our midweek services. Pastor didn't have a problem stepping aside for the youth to take over. Now I call that leadership. The advantage of this is it helped us read our Bible a little bit more and also get involved in church activities. Another thing I missed was our Thanksgiving services. My goodness, I miss the dance, I miss the testimonies and JCC choir as well. They took us, always took us to the next level. What I miss about JCC the most is probably the praise and the worship um, experience that I've had at JCC. It's, it's on another level. That's probably, for me, that's the, the part of the service that I always enjoy the most. You know, everyone is just dancing and giving praise to God without you know, caring about whoever is beside them or anything like that. Service I miss most in JCC is the Thanksgiving service, and that's because it's an opportunity for us to display and praise God in a radical way with our dancing and singing. Part of JCC I miss the most has to be the praise and worship on Thanksgiving Sundays, especially. We dance the Lord and we give praises to God a lot, and I also miss Power Night for the time of encounter. It was the first time I had ever prayed that much in my life. We were always there Friday nights was the best part. Oh, 
I miss JCC, I miss the transport unit. I, I like driving, so I miss the transport unit, I miss the instrumentalist, I um, miss everyone. I miss the praise and worship session. Uh, that's the high point. Kudos to the choir. I love the choir departments. Such great people. I miss them so much. I, 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 I grew in the choir department. Oh, my choir leader, Minister Justin, sir. God bless you. You did really inspire me. You encouraged me. And then, you know, I just ran with it. Everything I learned. You're so funny, though. <laughs> Great. I really do miss everything. I miss my other sisters. Safego, Salibia, Tatari, you know, my pastor, Pastor Sir, God bless you, sir, Pastor Mrs. I miss you all, and then I just pray that JCC continues to increase in Jesus' name. Hello, JCC, this is Olu, all the way from Lagos, Nigeria, one time member of the transport department, lifetime member of the IT and sound. Yeah. Ah, I miss JCC a lot, oh, a lot, in fact parts of JCC that I miss. I miss the Thanksgiving service where we we'll all come out to dance, dance, dance with pastor. Yeah, the most memorable moment was uh, when the church got the worship place. Then, in no food. I can remember the zeal of our youth. Our all together in unity, we cleaned the place and I was very, very impressed. Then I know the kind of family we are in JCC. JCC, God bless the church. Uh, my most memorable moment in JCC will be Bible study reviews as well. When we gather together in our Bible study uh, department to do reviews for the next Sunday school class was really a, a, an exciting moment for me. It was something to always look forward to. Um, every moment at JCC was a memorable moment, but if I'm to really narrow it down, I'd have to say the six year anniversary for me was just amazing um, and also the youth service the youth service of 2013 not to be biased when we leave Eskimos but that was um, an amazing time for me I believe that took my relationship with God to another level and I felt God like I have never felt God before my most memorable moment while attending JCC there's so many so so many um, but I will just pick one and it has to be during the 2012-2013 youth conference and um, I was a prayer coordinator during that set and um, we had we had organized a worship a worship session for one of the nights and it was the first time that I had experienced God in that way before um, you know it was the first time that I had felt the presence of God so heavy in place. It's the first time that I I had seen everyone in church, you know, appear to be sold out for God. You know, everyone was on their knees. Nobody had they didn't need to be told to go on their knees. Everybody was worshiping God that day and you could tell the power and the presence of God in that place. I've never at the time I had never experienced anything like that before and I will never forget that experience. It was truly life-changing, so I really bless and I thank God for that. I'm looking forward to visiting um, JCC soon, by God's grace, and um, until then, may the presence of God continue to rest on, on JCC. One memorable moment I can remember was a particular service where Sharon Franklin came from Jamaica, and so the see everyone was in Jamaica in the UK. Um, she did very well and the friends of her were thought all about the Savannah Code. Alright, uh, a, a memorable moment I can never forget was when I I I, I connected, I tapped, I held the clothes of Pastor Kolawale and I was passing through a lot then and all these problems were solved. In fact, I met him privately, I told him about it, and at a point he prayed for me. And even the last day I was leaving, he called me, he said, you know, he put on that same cloth, I held that cloth, and in fact, that moment is one moment I can never forget in that church. Hallelujah. Well, my me most memorable moment was the Thanksgiving for the graduates, 
when I was dancing alongside with my husband, when I saw them dancing, I was so happy for them all. When the whole church joined them and they danced, even the pastor and his wife joined them and they danced, it was the most memorable time for me because it was like a big family. Um, my most memorable moment in JCC, I will never forget the day Minister Justin Okoli preached about changing your status quo. That day the message moved me and I was led to also take some bold steps to um, also change my status quo. The most memorable moment in JCC was uh, my first time at JCC. When I first came to JCC, I, I met um, love and unity from everyone and it was from that moment that I started attending JCC and that's my most memorable part. My most memorable moment at JCC was the first day I stepped my foot in there. The welcome was amazing. Everybody was warm. It was, it was, I, I've never been welcomed to a church that way. I felt right at home from that first day and I made up my mind I was going to keep coming there. One of my most memorable moments at JCC has to be Thanksgiving service. It's got to be dancing forward and minister for this dancing. It's such an awesome moment when everyone leaves everything and dances forward to praise God for what he has done. It's such a wonderful feeling. What was my most memorable moment at JCC? Easily power night. I mean, back in the day, it wasn't just 11 to 1 a.m. Pastor always stayed with us and we prayed until about 5 p.m. That helped solidify our prayer lives. I can never forget Glory Conference as well, Glory Conference 2012. I heard that a guest minister was invited and people were following under the anointing. I went there as a passive observer. Little did I know that heaven was observing me. To cut the long story short, I fell under the anointing and that gave me an encounter that's helped me till today. My most memorable moment was when uh, the weekend uh, Don Moyne came and Pastor Kyle Jai as well. Yeah, I never forget that. Most memorable moment had to be singing with Sonny Badu on stage. Yeah, one memorable thing about JCC. Yeah, there are so many memorable moments in JCC, but one particular thing I would love to talk about is the love and affection in JCC. There's this brotherly, sisterly, fatherly and motherly love when you step into JCC. To me personally, I call JCC a home away from home because when you come, you totally forget that you're far away from home and you feel loved, you feel welcome. Please, JCC, keep it up. It's a plus to you. I love you for that. I love you all. I mean, in fact, my most memorable moment was when I first stepped into JCC, when I realized that JCC was a home for me in the UK. That was the first time I went to JCC. And uh, if I remember correctly, Minister Justin was leading praise and worship then. And the, the entire thing, the entire experience was just so new to me. And um, it was as if my eyes opened, it, it left a, a mark in me uh, that's still there to this day. Yeah, the part of Jesus I like the anniversary time. Remember that time Micah's stamp was around? Awesome time in the presence of God. I miss pastor's prayer every morning, Monday morning on Skype. Miss a whole lot of things about JCC off the top of my head. I miss the bonding people, the worship, the word. Pastor has taught us how to pray. My father, my father, ah, when you begin prayer like that, it will always end with results. Yeah, the lesson I learned from Pastor was that whenever I, whenever I gave you an assignment, any task at all, irrespective of, uh, irrespective of how complex it is, we will only assure you that, look, it is achievable. And when you do it, when you try it, you know it is done. I thank God for that, because which, are, which is the spirit that has been following me even up to today. I know nothing is impossible with God. The one thing I remember I learned from Pastor Kola Wale is that, um, just as the Bible says in Acts 10.34, um, that God is no respecter of persons. So, um, I learned not to show favoritism, whether as a pastor, a church, mem a church leader, or a member, not to show favoritism to anyone because really we all come before God and God is the judge, not any man, so we don't show favoritism as children of God. Um, JCC is the house of prayer. Before I got to JCC, before I attended JCC, I really struggled with my prayer life. I really wanted to learn how to pray. But I remember one of the churches that I had attended as a young, as a young girl, people would actually laugh at me 
and whenever sub subsequently whenever I would pray it would used to be like one minute or like 10 seconds and it was a real burden for me and um, coming to JCC going to JCC helped me to really build my prayer life um, the, mem the most memorable lesson that I've learned from Pastor um, from not just from his messages but from his life you know from speaking to him from sitting in the office with him you know from watching him from speaking to mommy is the power of prayer that prayer changes things that it doesn't matter what you're going through whether it's good bad ugly in between the highs and the lows that it is prayer that God still answers prayers today and my prayer life has changed and transformed it has grown so rapidly during my time at JCC just understanding prayer and being able to pray in the way that I've never prayed before you know I really bless and thank God for daddy's life for, for, for teaching me you know the power of prayer and the importance of prayer and in him doing that has allowed my spiritual life to just expand to grow and I'm really grateful to God for that uh, one sermon that I can remember vividly that Pastor Kola Olepe was when he said that there was a particular blessing for every day. There's blessing for Monday, there's blessing for Tuesday, blessing for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That whenever we wake up every day we should pray that God will give us a blessing for that particular day. And that we should pray that everything that God has created will work in our favor. That the sun, the moon, the stars, the rain, we all work in our favor so that we can achieve God's purpose in this planet Earth. Pastor Kodawele and Pastor Mrs. have taught me so, so much. I've learned so much from them, which I carry on till today. And I feel like their humility for me is just something that, you know, is of something that I emulate. And also their relationship with God. And we know the scripture that says that seek ye first the kingdom of God and all other things shall be added. Just seeing them seek God wholeheartedly, I mean, that's just a, a lesson in itself. All right, uh, well, the lesson I will learn from our daddy is simple, humility. His life is a reflection of Jesus Christ. In fact, he's humble to the core. I really love that aspect about him. Yes, the same goes for me. Someone who says things the way they are. Speaking of the set man of God, um, Pastor Kolawale, well, I miss him so much. The first power night I attended, he was speaking about prayers and he was telling you, he was telling us about how to go in war in the place of prayers. And he was also saying that um, even God himself is the man of war. And I miss those moments when he has to start with, say, my father, my father. And I mean, I, I, I treasure every moment. Um, I, I pray that God will continually bless him. Um, I send greetings to everyone in JCC. I miss you all. I miss the pastor. I miss mommy. I miss drama unit. I miss every member. And I, I, I miss uh, 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 Sunday school. I, I miss all the ministers. I, I miss Minister Justin Okoli in the order of the Bogoyes. And then I want to also say a special thank you to Minister Felicia, the leader of um, Sunday School, for um, God used you to create an avenue uh, for me to showcase the light of God in my ministry. And one big lesson I've learned from um, Daddy's message is one of Daddy's messages. Daddy always says that um, the difference between where you are now and where God wants you to be is, a, is, an, is an idea. And ever since then, I've been praying that God should give me an idea to change my life. Every message from Pastor Kola Wole is always a hit, a back-to-back -back hit. Every message from Pastor Kola Wole is always inspiring. From all the messages, the most important thing to do is just the power of prayer and the kind of things to make prayers. Yeah, as Christians, prayer is one of the most powerful weapons we have to learn to defend ourselves. So, if you love prayer, Message, a lesson I've learned from Pastor Kola Wale is always pray, like prayer, 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 and it's it, I've, I've built my life from that point up until now on those principles. Whatever you need, go ahead and ask um, God for it, and you're going to get it. Another memorable message again that I like, I learned, and it's still in my head is the 
message that says God qualifies a man and not a man qualifying another man. A man can say no, but God can say yes, which is the final say, and it's always in my mind, in my heart. I live with it daily. So I'm really grateful for that message. Daddy, may the Lord continue to bless you. In Jesus' name. Uh, one memorable lesson I've got from Pastor Paula Wally. Um, let's pray. Let's not have you back to JCC without learning how to pray. And one of my favorite quotes um, I like is, Oh Lord, open your book of remembrance concerning one memorable lesson I've learned from Pastor Kola Wale's message. Well, it's not just Pastor Kola Wale's message, it's Pastor Kola Wale's person. In my opinion, Pastor is the most selfless man of God I've come across. Pastor invested his time in us, his resources in us, Pastor took us as his own children. But if I'm to answer your question, one thing I've learned from Pastor Kola Wale's message and prayers is a quote. He said, if there is a man that can pray, then there is a God that can answer. I quote that till tomorrow. Before I left JCC, I heard it was my father, my father. And now I heard the syllabus has changed. It's now my father, my father, my father. So I'd like to thank Pastor Kola Wale. I'd like to thank Pastor Mrs. as well for taking us as your own, investing your time in us, investing your resources in us. May God reward you abundantly in Jesus' name. One of the lessons Pastor taught me, or one of the wise words he said to me was when he told me that the fact that you had an accident with a car does not mean you won't get into a car. The memorable lesson I learned was about um, prayer. As a caller taught us how to pray, as a caller taught us a new, a new way of prayer. My father, my father. Yeah, one lesson from Pastor Kola Wale that I've learned. You know, most ministers will say, pray, pray until something happens. But from Pastor Kola Wale, you know you have to pray as a child of God and keep praying and keep praying. Even when you see the signs or the results of your prayers have been answered, just keep praying because as a child of God, the only thing you have to do is just to pray because that's the only weapon we have as children of God. Yeah, and also, he taught me personally how to reverence God as my father because whenever he's praying, he always comes up with, my father, my father, my father. And he will say, that should be three times. Thank you very much, Pastor Kola Wale, for that because whenever I say my private prayers, I don't forget to add that to it. If I've learned anything from, from Pastor, Pastor Kola Wale, it is definitely prayer. I, anytime you ask me that, that's, that's the answer you will get. It's the power of prayer, the impact of prayer, um, how to pray. You know, Pastor Kolawale is a man of prayer. I've seen him pray for six hours straight, you know, without batting an eye. And um, I've really absorbed a lot of knowledge from him and I'm, I'm grateful for that. Merry Christmas to all the family of JCC. I love you all. Mostly my department, media and light. God bless you guys. I would just like to say a Merry Christmas. I would like to wish JCC a white Christmas, a beautiful Christmas all the way from where I am right now. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I just want to say a very Merry Christmas to Jubilee Christian Center, the House of Prayer. I really want to say, wish you all a Happy New Year. Specifically, I want to tell Daddy and my mummy a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you too. I love you very much. Bye, see you soon. Um, on a final note, just like um, Job 42 verse 2 says that I know you can do all things and no purpose of yours can be thwarted. I pray that in this Christmas season, in this holiday season, I pray that no purpose of God for our life will be thwarted and God will do what only He can do in our life. Happy holiday to the JCC family. Happy holiday to Pastor and Pastor of the Scholar. I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Enjoy it, stay blessed, stay merry, and eat loads. Alright, and from us here we say happy Christmas in advance. Happy Christmas. And we happy wish you yeah. we wish everyone, the pastor, pastor, missus, everyone in JCC a happy Christmas in advance. And it's our prayer that the joy of Christmas will remain in our homes in the mighty name of Jesus. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> God bless you. Merry Christmas and happy new year. I love you, JCC. And um, I'd like to say Merry Christmas to everyone and uh, Happy New Year and I miss you all. Greetings to everyone. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. 
and it's my prayer that the God will continue to bless you and take you to that side and i just like to say merry christmas and happy new year to all of you i miss you i hope one day i, I can come um to coventry and worship with you again have fun bye and i want to use this medium to say merry christmas enjoy your holiday and happy new year god bless you all in your families and um yes my father my father take it merry christmas daddy Bye bye. Um, I would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. I pray 2017 is indeed your year of celebration. Have a great one. Finally, I'd like to send a warm greeting to everyone, all the workers in JCC. I'd like to encourage you there is a God in JCC. It's called the God that rewards. My prayer for you is that God will reward every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Hi, JCC. Wishing you guys the very best this season. And may the blessings of God always and always remain with you. Love you. Bye. Yes, this is me wishing everyone at JCC a happy holiday season. Thank you. It's a bit signing out. Peace. I would like to say Merry Christmas to Pastor Cole and the JCC family. I hope as we celebrate the birth of Christ, we would also celebrate newness in, in every aspect of your life. God bless you. Yeah, Merry Christmas to Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Kolawole, JCC entirely. Special greetings to my own family, which is the choir department. I love you, Minister J, Minister Fergo, Minister Nelson. I love you, I miss you all. To the old JCC, the IT the department, the drama department, and every other department, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Thank you. So I just want to wish everyone at JCC a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, JCC, this is Olu from Lagos, Nigeria, wishing you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. Merry Christmas! God bless you, bye! Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Merry Christmas, JCC. Merry Christmas, Pastor. Merry Christmas, Mommy. I love you all and I do miss you. I wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a fun-filled holiday. God bless. I miss you guys. I wish you guys well. Merry Christmas, Pastor. Merry Christmas, everybody. Take care. Bye. Mmm. Jollof Sunday. Yay. Jollof Sunday. Jollof Sunday. Go with Jollof Ice. Ah. Pastor Mrs. Jollof Ice. You eat, you bite your tongue, bite your teeth, and be filled with the Holy Spirit. What part of the service do I miss the most? The jollof part. The jollof rice part. <laughs> no! Trust me, everybody looks forward to that jollof Sunday. Mommy, you know what I'm talking about. May the Lord bless your ministry. In Jesus' name. I also miss Thanksgiving rice as well. Very, very important for we students at the time. I miss everyone and I also miss the every first Sunday jello fries. Always on point. And also because it's a jello Sunday, trust me, everybody want to get a test of Nigerian jello fries. And that's one thing that makes it a special Sunday.